Good morning and happy Tuesday, Siouxland. We are seeing fog out there once again. We're starting off with some patchy freezing morning fog, but we do have a warmer pattern this week with highs in the 30s and 40s and dry conditions until Christmas. With that fog, we do have a dense fog advisory that does include Woodbury County, and that is in effect until 10 a.m. this morning. Here's a look at that visibility. We're down to a quarter mile of visibility in Sioux City, half a mile in Lamar's, a quarter mile as well out in Storm Lake, and three quarters of a mile in Cherokee. Most of that thick fog is on the Iowa side of Siouxland, but if you are driving around this morning, just take your time, and again, don't drive with your brights on. Temperatures are ranging from single digits as 8 degrees in Sioux City. Some teens and low to, uh, of highs of 12 right now in Lamar's and Orange City. And some 20s mixed in there at 20 degrees in Cherokee, 21 in Storm Lake, and 22 in Spencer. The good news is we have some light winds this morning with calm conditions in Sioux City. Winds from the south at 6 miles an hour in Lamar's. Winds from the southwest at 6 miles an hour in Cherokee. And a little bit stronger in Storm Lake and Spencer at 12 miles an hour there. Satellite radar imagery shows that we did see some clouds on the Iowa side overnight, but we are starting to see some gradual clearing, making way for mostly sunny skies later this, uh, later this morning and afternoon after that fog clears out of the area. Here's a look at your out-the-door forecast for today. As I mentioned and keep mentioning, we do have that morning fog, so be careful out there, but we will see mostly sunny skies by this afternoon. As temperatures rise to the low to mid-30s, we're looking for a high of 34 by this afternoon, so a little bit on that cooler side, but a little bit warmer than yesterday. And then tonight is going to get bitter as we fall to a low of 9 degrees by tomorrow morning with winds staying nice and light overnight. As always, tune into KCAU 9 News this morning at 5 and 6 to see your full extended forecast.